precious Ramotswe. Please leave a message after the tone. Keep tomorrow free. An old friend will be coming to see you. one thing a man cannot stand, it is change. And Ramatekoni is no different. You are looking round his house first. Make no promises, make no concessions. And when he comes here, we will bowl him over with delight. Bowl him over all his favorite foods in one huge spread. He will not be able to say no. There will be only one answer to the question of where the two of you should live. Number five, Zebra Drive. Now, let me get on. She's late. I am not late. I am never late. I have never been late, and I never will be. I meant your boss. She is not late. She is otherwise engaged. Florence, you are supposed to be tidying the house. Maramos will be here any minute. Why all the fuss? She has been here before. Oh, that was different. How? Because... <sighs> Just get this place tidy and quick. Now they are breaking them to get in. So the chalk, the cake tin... The colored chalk, not the white. The cake tin and the cake. So the colored chalk, the cake tin and the cake. Petty cash? Still there. So the third break in and there's no cash stolen. Banana stapler. Sorry, your banana what? My stapler, shaped like a... My diploma. My 97%. Vandals! Animals! Who would do a thing like this? You'd better tell Maramut. She is not to be disturbed. Even for this? She has a big decision to make. Bigger than this? I will leave a message. <laughs> what does she do for her money? This maid of yours. Ma, that mop is dry.
This is a very fine room. It's important to have a special room for important visitors. Do you have many important visitors, Ra? I have one today. Please lead on. That way. That is the not so tidy part of the house. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I was just too busy. There is certainly much to do. There certainly is, yes. The house this dirty needs a lot of work. And who are you to say that this house is dirty? I've seen for myself what goes on here. Yeah. Listen, ma. Now I have worked for this man for many years. I have cooked for him, I have cleaned, and I have fed him good food. <laughs> good food? Who does she think she is? Coming into my kitchen and saying all these things. I am his fiancé. Fiance! Without a word to me! You cannot marry her. She will kill you. She's a good woman, Florence. And if you like, we can find you another job. My cousin runs a hotel near the bus station. I'm not a bus station maid! I'm a high class maid! You are a high class cheat. All talk and no work. She will break your bed. You will die. This is gonna be the end for you. No, ma. This is the end for you. I will not get pushed out by this bed breaker. Fine. I will go home. Mara. I will be back. Nah. I'm Florence. Florence Pego. I will show you. Get a hobonza. Where my bag? Where my cigarettes? Get a hobonza. Ra! I apologize on behalf of my bad-tempered maid. Answer your phone. Then you will visit my house. Hello? Hey, ma Potokwan. Hey, the pump. I see. I, again? I'll fix the pump and come straight to your house. Please be as quick as you can. Okay. Intruder enters premises by breaking window. Intruder or intruders. He, she, they then make assessment of valuables and make off with colored chalk, cake tin, cake, and banana stapler. Leaving Maramotswe's desk untouched. Smashing teacup in frustration and diploma in envy. a very strange noise. Not like the strange noises it has made before. Like an elephant when it trumpets and shaking like a dog. The pump is getting very old now, ma. Machinery doesn't last forever. 
The children need shoes, they need clothes. I have to pay this stuff. There's no money for a new pump. You and this pump are very old friends. But one day you'll have to write a letter to the British. Dear British, here is your pump which you left in Africa. It's finished now. Please come and pick it up. Thank you. One day, Ra, but not today. You know, my, oh, I hear people. you are engaged to be married. One of our house mothers lives across the road from the cousin of Maramutsu's butcher. Yes. Oh, congratulations, Ra. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. She's a beautiful lady. She is. And you'll be needing a beautiful big diamond ring. Mm. Ma, where is Ramatekwani? Is he not coming? He is fixing the pump at the orphanage. He will be here very soon. Just time for you to smarten up. Rose, I am smart already. Now please go back to what you are doing. feeling well you must go but the food i will deal with it there are still cans on the stove i will turn them off what is it what happened we must bowl him over we could bowl him over another day Another break-in. Note. He's not a morning person. Where's the phone? I've brought you some water. Thank you. Fixing this thing is hot work. Were the cylinders choked? Yes, they were. We have a book in the library, How Things Work. You like mechanical things? I rely on them. <laughs> and the wheel on your chair, can you identify the problem there? Lack of oil? You're a modern girl, Motolel. Does a modern lady require a diamond ring if she's to be engaged? She does. A diamond ring for 50,000 pula. It is the one thing on which all ladies agree. on the pump has left me a little unkempt. Am I still acceptable for the tour of number five zebra drive? Ra, I'm not well. I think I've come down with a virus. I, I need to be in on my own today. That's not what you need. No. You need a beautiful diamond engagement ring. Oh. What's the matter? 
are such a good, good man, JP. And you're a good, good lady. Do you really think so? I know so. I made some mistakes in my past. Who has not? Today, all mistakes are washed away. We'll buy the ring to prove it. And then I must come straight home. Someone I think you should meet. First, I have to eat. And I have to eat a lot. And there is something else I'm going to need, too. Get some breakfast for Rema Koti. I'll pick him up in half an hour. Note Mokoti. Here in Gaborone. No need to worry about him. He's history now. This lady is Mara Motswe, and she's engaged to me. I wish to buy her a ring for this engagement, a diamond ring. We are the Botswana diamond from our own minds. <laughs> I saw you arrive looking very happy. You parked beside my car. But not too close, I hope. <laughs> ah, you're a fortunate man. Not every man can find such a cheerful, fat woman to marry. There are many thin, hectoring women around today, huh? I'm a very lucky man. And now you must buy her a very big ring. A, a fat woman cannot wear a tiny ring, huh? <laughs> what do you think of those, Ma? They are beautiful. Uh -huh. Are they from Botswana? Absolutely. The finest in the world. 90,000 pula? Mm. I, I am not a lady to wear a big ring. I, I was hoping for a small ring. I can do discounts. 10%. Um, maybe 12. Uh, this is a beautiful ring for a beautiful woman. <laughs> Ma, I, I didn't mean... You must have whichever ring you choose. How much are those? 15%. Hey, she, you drive a hard bargain, Ma. <laughs> I don't want this ostentatious ring. I would like... one of these. Uh, diamonds like those may be easily missed. People may not notice such a diamond at all. I will notice it. Urema Tukoni will notice it, and that is all that matters. Bring the rings. Are they from Botswana? As Botswana as you or me. The break-ins are my case, ma'am. But you said nothing about this. You're not playing fair. Luckily, I have my own sources of information. We are perfectly capable of handling this ourselves. We? Oui. Where is your boss today? That is none of your business. It's strange that she's not here in a crisis. Put that right back. Give it to me. Yep. So you can handle this yourselves, any leads? For all I know, it was you that broke in here. To steal your colored chocks. How do you know about the colored chocks? It's here in your report. <sighs> I would have bought you the other one. I'm very happy with this one. Ma? What is it? I love you. I am very glad. I still have a pocket full of pula. Let's go to the President Hotel for a celebration lunch. Another time. Or oh, another time. Yes. Is everything okay, Ma? Everything's fine. But I must go home now. Then we will visit your house now, as we planned. Another time. Or another time. 
Yes. If you're coming. When I was a policeman in Joburg, there was a man called Johnny Dollars. He was a one-man crime wave. Everybody was afraid of him. We knew what he was up to, but we could never make it stick. You remember Johnny Dollar's note? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would never admit to anything. And then one day, someone told me that Johnny Dollars was terrified of his grandmother. <laughs> See, just as uh, he had ruled Joe Berg with a rod of iron, so she had ruled him when he was a kid, and she didn't like the way he had turned out. So, I arrested him and brought his grandmother to his cell. And now he's doing 25 years. Good for you. <laughs> and the look on Johnny Dollar's face when I opened the cell door and showed in his grandmother. I saw that same look on your face, Ma, when I said the name Note Makoti to you. What do you want? I have a talent for introductions. Precious. Not. So, you've become someone at last. No thanks to you. Don't be so sure. You are not welcome here. And what will it take to make me go away? You didn't need to go to so much trouble. Leave that alone. She still has your records, Nut. Leave my things alone. Mr. Butelezi tells me that you are engaged to be married. See how she tries to hide the ring? But there is one big problem with this newfound freedom of yours. I do not recall us ever getting a divorce. Maybe you hoped I was dead. Or that I had forgotten I ever married you. There have been so many other girls after all. <laughs> what can a man do but say yes? Or did you think that now you are so high and mighty someone like me does not count? Someone from your past. From the bad old days. I am not the same person now. That girl you used to shout at and, and, and punch. She is gone. That is what you like to think. <gasps> that is what you like to think. Are the lovebirds fighting already? I will see you at the gig. <laughs> Most times people pay to hear me. But with you it will be different. You will pay to keep me quiet. And then you will give me the divorce. In installments. I cannot keep paying you. I'm not made of money. The agency accounts are improving. I saw them for myself. Not for all time's sake. Have pity. You brought him here just for this. It always pays to do a little background research. Whatever would he think of you, this simple mechanic man accepting his ring under false pretenses? Even if it is a counterfeit. What? Cubic zirconium. A fake diamond for a fake engagement.
Gimela, ma? Gimela, did you decide whose home to live in? I think Maramotswe has a pretty good idea. And did you celebrate after? Maramotswe was unwell. Unwell? What happened here? We are the latest victims in the Kale Hill breakings. Does she know? I phoned her and left a message. And no reply? It is not at all like Maramot. Something is not right. Do you think? We will go now. We will be very direct and get to the bottom of this. She is not here and her van is gone. I knew she was not ill, but I made soup just in case. She cannot lie to me. Not to me. I have known her for too long. She is not herself. Do you agree? She is a very troubled lady. I could read it in her face, in capital letters, something is wrong. We think the same. It's ever since she became engaged to you, Ramateko. Do you think she has cold feet? Mara Muzo is very deep. That's why she's a good detective. Who knows what she's thinking? Have you got any idea where she could be? I have. And when you find her, bring her back here and make her eat this soup. Daddy, it's me, precious. I have done a foolish thing, Daddy. I've agreed to marry a good man. When I am still married to a bad one. Why would I do that? I will stay here. It's as I thought. She is unsure about me. She has nothing but good to say about you. And about Note Magoti, nothing but bad. Yes. So why is she still playing his records? Perhaps she's putting something behind her, once and for all. It's because she has such strong feelings for him. Strong feelings of hatred. Strong feelings are strong feelings. But for me? Strong feelings of love. You have heard her say that. We are wasting time here. Did you hear her say it? It is not the sort of thing she would come right out and say. Worried. I am worried. And 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 BK and Rema Tekoni and your maid, we are all worried. Where is Rema Tekoni now? He was very busy. Then I can tell you what is the matter. Sefas Butelezi told me my diamond ring was a fake. He was at the agency strutting about and, and, and talking rubbish. That man knows nothing about diamonds or detection. You should have come to me straight away. Ma. I can see that now. This, this is a lovely little ring. Not a word to Ramatokoni. My lips are sealed.
You work hard, Ra. You deserve a hearty meal. You deserve many things for all of the hard work you've put in through all the years. And you don't want to just throw it all away. Just because for one little moment you let down your guard. That is what happens with a woman like that. She gets in under your guard and before you know it, boom, boom. It's a very good dinner, Florence. Oh. But clearly, you think that I'm a pushover. You, Rano! Look at me yesterday. I'm afraid to tell you I was getting married, hiding behind my fiancé's petticoats. Oh, plenty of room there, Rano. That's enough, Florence. It is my house, and I will set the agenda. Whatever you say, Rano. Mr. Butelezi tells me that you are engaged to be married. I do not recall us ever getting a divorce. You will pay to keep me quiet. There have been so many other girls after all. So many other girls. He told Miss Pace to do a little background research. You scare me. Do you? I'm not afraid of you. You should be afraid of me. That calling at this ridiculous hour, Mr. Patel. I am sorry to call late, but I have solved the mystery of the Kali Hill break in. Beth's marriage is Dave's. Yes, please come in. 
This is a check for her work on the case of Jack, my daughter's imaginary boyfriend. A fat check as promised. And this is for solving the mystery of the Halle Hill break-ins. Something which that man, Butelesi, failed to do. Quite right. That is twice he has let me down. I'm a great believer in second chances. But third ones are not in my lexicon. So, you will stick with the ladies. I'm a ladies' man. Dumelama. Dumelara. 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 She's not at home and she's not here. She is following a line of inquiry. I was just saying, Ra, what a great job these ladies have made of this place. It puts us mere men to shame. Very true. <laughs> You are in a good mood this morning, Rematikon. I'm a man on a mission. You are can-do ladies. I've taken the decision to be a can-do man. I must prove that, that, that I'm worthy of Maramoto's love. I know how you can do that. I already have a plan. I've got two tickets. It will go straight to the heart of Maramoto's problems. Did you find what you're looking for? I found what I had hoped to find, and I did not find what I had hoped not to find. Criminal records. Yes, yes. Good morning, Ra. <laughs> did you sleep well? Very well, Ma. And you? <laughs> no sleep for me. Do you know why? Was your tiny ring too small for your finger? My ring was just the right size. It was not that that kept me awake. I am glad to hear it. I'm a detective, Ra. Did you know that? No. I make it my business to find things out. So I stayed up very late and found out all about cubic zirconium. In case you didn't know, it is used as a diamond simulant. And what is that to me? I will tell you. I continued my research in a very different direction this morning, and I found out all about you, Ra. Your life has been very eventful and very well documented. Good day, Ma. So I thought I would sit here today and tell anyone who comes along the story of Keboni Legodimo, Jula and Jailbed. Once upon a time, <coughs> there was <sighs> I will be keeping a keen eye on your business practice. I'm here to ask you out on a date. Bra, I... To the Note Mokoti gig this evening. I have two tickets. He's a famous jazz musician, in case you didn't know. Also, Ma, I would uh, like to get your ring engraved. Could you let me have it until this evening? Oh. Of course. I cannot stop. Hey. you are told, or there'll be trouble. Replace it. <laughs> uh, 
I think I'm paying off at the odds here. Here's Mrs. Q. Not. Not! Where are you, ma'am? We're all waiting. You came? Of course. Sometimes it's best to face up to your fears. That is true. I'm talking about both of us. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You look very handsome. Thank you. Do Melara. Melara? Yeah. Two tickets for near the front, please. No need for a ticket, ma. You're on the guest list. You were coming already? Not out of choice. And may I ask what you were coming to do? It is a business matter with Sefas Butelez. Not with Note. With him too. Are you looking for me, Florence? Of course I was. Are you buying me a drink? It's good to do things you don't normally do. I will go now and speak to Note. Th then I will come with you. There is no need for that. Ma, I'm determined to be more courageous. It was courageous of you to ask me to marry you again after I turned you down. Then I will build from that base. It's time to shout your love from the rooftops. Come to make good on your promise. Where is he? Uh, never mind about note for a moment, ma. I don't want to be here a moment longer than necessary. I heard you cracked the break-ins case. Well, then I can say for you. You are good at your job, ma. But the predators will always be circling. Men like note will always see you as vulnerable. It was you who brought him here. To prove that lady detectives need men. Oh. Note will be back again and again. And in the end, he will take all you have. And you will stop him? For a controlling interest in your agency, yes, I will. When you can't even get him to open the door. Note. Open the door, please. He's an artist, you know. He has moods. Note. It is precious Ramotswe. Look, it's again. <laughs> Bro, my reputation, you gotta stop. No! I said, lock it again. Did you bring the money? I brought a check. How much? It is blank. Let's start writing zeros. I need to know you will not come back to me again. Is that so? Or do you sometimes wish that I hadn't gone away? Eh? Take your hand off me. When the nights are long and dark, 
When the nights were long and dark, you were never there. With me, you take the rough with the smooth. I lost my baby. There would have been others. There would have been other bruises too. And broken bones. I was glad when you went away. Now I'm here again. Wanting money. Just write a check. Or you will never marry your car mechanic. <laughs> that is what you'd like to think. So I won't hurt you now. Is that what you think? I've been afraid of you for so long, Lord. First, it was your fists, and then that you might come back. And now you have. I still have those fists. But nothing else. I did some research. Not, I do not need a divorce from you. You were married when we met. You just forgot to tell me. You had no right to marry me. No right to do any of it. Get out. This is why you need money. For that stuff. How long have you been taking it? Get out! Why would you take that when you have what you have? What do I have? Nothing. You just told me. You had this. Your music. The reason why all those people are here tonight. And what else? Just that is more than most. Everybody is waiting, Lord. I think you do. I told them you were with me all night long, and the case collapsed. All night long? That? I would have remembered. So now you owe me a favor. There is this big woman who is causing me a big problem. Me and Ramatakoni have a good thing going, and she's going to ruin it all. When I was growing up on the orphan farm, this man was always there to help us out. And he never charged a tether for his services. And today, I can return the favor. Will you please welcome to the stage Aburoni's greatest mechanic, Mr. J.L.B. Matekoni. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to dedicate this gig to a very special lady and an old friend of the man you have come to see play his trumpet tonight. 
my fiance, Precious Ramotswe, the best detective and the finest lady in all Botswana. Ladies and gentlemen, one lucky man. Be late home, or your father will be calling me again. I won't. Oh, and Ma, this is Jack. Oh, hi, hello. You remember, Ma, I said I was going to be more courageous? I remember very well. I took the ring back and made him change it for a real one. Mama Kutsi told you? And I made him engrave it, free of charge. It's beautiful. Thank you. And that was the last in this current series of the number one ladies' detective agency. Next tonight, high-definition music from the Barbican.